Thanks for starting your week off with us. I'm Julia Smith. High speed internet isn't a problem for us in Huntsville, but there's a need for it in those rural places beyond city limits. Today, Kenesha Dees caught up with the Congressman Aid Adder Holt and USDA Undersecretary Torres Small in Coleman County on their progress to close the digital divide. First of all, we've got to make sure everybody's served. And then second of all, we've got to make sure that we have the highest speed possible because techno technology is continually changing. Congressman Robert Adderholt points out the change just in technology in the past two years alone. Many employees and students at some point during the pandemic having to work from home. USDA Undersecretary for Rural Development, Xochitl Torres Small, says the agency wants to expand a high-speed broadband to those hidden pockets nationally. We're working to make sure we're reaching the places that no one's dared to go before. Congressman Adderhold believes the entire state of Alabama should have access to high-speed internet. Well, it's just like in any uh, large populated area, when you go uh, 20 miles, 30 miles outside of that area, then you start losing connectivity. And so uh, you don't have to get very far. And, and Alabama is one of those states where people commute. Um, you know, they may work in one area, but they may live in a, a, a rural area because they choose to do that. Torres Small says there are funds underway to expand broadband, such as the Reconnect Loan and Grant Program. I yeah, have round, the round three of, of Reconnect and working hard to get $1.15 billion out the door. Uh, the application process just recently closed and we're starting, uh, starting to work on putting together awards. Uh, now we have an additional $2 billion in bipartisan infrastructure law funds, so working hard to find the right projects uh, to invest in there as well. In Coleman County, Kenesha Dees, Fox 54 News.